Hello, in this video, we're gonna go through just some basic vector math. And then in future videos, we'll get into more depth on all of these subjects. So it's just the intro to vector math. Uh, so starting with vector addition. Um, so the commutative law of addition applies to vectors. Um, so that means that vectors can be added in any order, just like is true of normal addition. So like one plus two plus three is the same thing as two plus three plus one. Same thing applies to vectors. So we can add them in any order and the result will be the same. Uh, so in the picture on the right here, I know it's slightly covered by my picture here, my video, um, but you can see that we added A and B on the left side and that's the same thing as B plus A on the right side. And that purple line in the center represents A plus B, or that could be B plus A in any order. It's the same thing. Uh, the associative law of addition also applies to vectors. Um, so they can be grouped in any combination when we add them. So like with regular math, um, we can have one plus two grouped and then plus three, or we could have two plus three plus one, which is grouped. So we can group them in any way, we can add them in any order, um, just like any other kind of math, any other kind of addition. Vector subtraction, um, essentially when we wanna subtract, subtract one vector from another, we just make that vector negative and then add them together. Okay, so yeah, let's keep going here. So a negative vector is when uh, we have a vector that when added to the first vector equals zero. So a negative vector is just a vector going in the opposite direction. Uh, it's parallel to the first vector, but going the other way. So to subtract one vector from another vector, we're gonna just add the negative of the vector that we're subtracting. Okay, so it's like with, with regular subtraction, if we have four minus two equals two, that's the same exact thing as four plus negative two equals two. And so that's what we're doing here is instead of doing four minus two, we're doing four plus negative two. So like in our picture here on the top, we have the red vector A and we have the blue vector B. So if we wanted to do A minus B, all we do is flip B backwards. So vector B is now pointing in the opposite direction and then we add that opposite <clears throat> backwards B to A, and there's our resulting vector that's A minus B in the bottom picture there. Okay, so to subtract a vector, all we do is flip backwards the vector that we want to subtract from the other vector. For vector multiplication, we're actually not gonna use it that much in this course, so I'm only gonna touch on it a little bit here, um, but I don't know if we're even gonna talk about this again in this class. So I'm gonna touch on it here and not gonna go into a lot of detail. Um, so a vector may be multiplied with another vector or with a scalar. Uh, so with a scalar, again, we're just talking about a quantity that has no direction. So a scalar is not represented by a vector, it's simply just a, an amount of something. Uh, so when we multiply a vector times a scalar, the result is a vector. So the vector will have the same orientation if the scalar is positive, or if the scalar was negative, it would be pointed in the opposite direction. We would just flip it backwards because the negative vector is just a backwards vector. So the magnitude or the length of the vector will change according to the scalar. So like if we look at our picture here, that is, you know, each little blue line, that is vector A. And if we multiply that by a scalar of three, the result is 3a, and that's that red line that's just the length of three vector a's all lined up in a row. So that's what happens when we multiply a vector times a scalar, is we just get that vector times however many was that scalar, and that um, the result then is the vector. Now if we're gonna multiply a vector times a vector, the result is also a vector. Um, so in this case, we would look at the plane that is formed by the two vectors we're multiplying, and the resulting vector will be perpendicular to that plane, like we see in the picture here. So if we multiply A times B, 
the resulting vector is going straight up in the air. It's perpendicular to the plane formed by A and B. Okay, so the magnitude of the resulting vector, so that red vector sticking straight up, how long that vector is, we would find using this equation. So it'd be A times B, so the magnitudes of those two vectors that we started with, times sine of theta, and in this case, theta is the angle formed between A and B, and that would give us the magnitude of our new vector C that is the result of A times B. Okay, so um, again, this was just the basics. We'll get more into vector addition and subtraction in future videos. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Bye.